see in the sky a tremendous amount of chemicals, residue, that is slowly turning to what people deem as normal cloud. This is a subject that remains controversial, uh, even though you can actually see the evidence in front of your eyes appear in the skies above what we believe to be most of the NATO countries in the world. This is a chance and a message as well. A message to the people to look up and to see what is actually going on above their heads and what's raining down upon them. There have been other films that I can recommend highly and they would probably be able to explain it far, far better than I can and show you very conclusive evidence as I've tried to do with some of the images on here. Basically, if you look at a plane that's going across the sky, a jet plane that is, uh, you will see that what comes out of the rear of the engine is kind of just like water vapor, which, as many of us have seen, dissipates in 30 to 40 seconds, up to a minute sometimes it can stay there. And those are called contrails. Now, when you see a trail across the sky, the trail that comes out of the back of a plane, as I say, when it's across the sky, and it emits a, tr a, a, a exhaust trail that doesn't dissipate within the time mentioned before, to, uh, 40 seconds to a minute, but stays there and continues to stay there for hour upon hour, or slowly, upon those hours, spread out across the sky in the form of milky haze. Uh, usually more than one can trail, as we like to call them, because they are actually deep chemicals being sprayed upon us. There's usually more than one being sprayed at uh, any particular given time. I have witnessed on many occasions uh, above the city of Plymouth in the United Kingdom planes going over and over and over again making patterns in the sky and amazed by how many people see it but don't actually see it for what it really is. Except there was one uh, young gentleman when I was walking my dog and I came out of the park and he was looking up the sky and wow, I never realised that, but that was, and I explained to him what it was about. He was gobsmacked that the sky was so full of these trails. And my explanation, albeit very simple, with a short note written down for him to watch a film called What in the World Are They Spray, which I recommend very highly for you to watch. And uh, bid him good day and hope that he finds the truth, as I have with research upon this subject. There's footage on YouTube of planes turning on and off those sprays, witnessed by pilots or passengers actually in the cockpit of another plane. There is evidence of vegetation being affected by high amounts of spray in areas uh, such as California and Hawaii where you will find that even though we know that coconut trees are very very strong trees that its bark just crumbles to dust in your hand after the amount of spray that's actually been uh, put through should we say. Now it's strange to go for, well, surely the government would have told us it was going on. They'd give us a good reason why, not the right people. Well, in fact, if you look back uh, over the, in the last century, mid-20th century, uh, round about, I think it was the 50s and 60s, possibly the 70s as well, I'm not sure, I believe, or the 50s, that they were um, spraying chemicals over the whole of the southwest, um, possibly geoengineering even, which is what they, they tend to do, and 
result that they had to confess to it 30 years later when the Freedom of Information Act 30 year rule meant that this information was released to the public. Nobody actually knows what was spread for sure. Unless somebody comes forward and really says, but I can't think it'd be anything nice. And it's believed that some of the substances originated in Portland Down, which is a chemical and biological research centre uh, in Salisbury area. So there's evidence there of them doing it already. Now this particular operation, and again I say we believe that the only NATO countries are affected, began, we think, in about mid-1996, is our uh, most accurate assessment. Uh, early on in 1996, it's believed that where the death patents for machines used to spray these, what are nanoparticulates of various substances, um, mostly toxic, were uh, passed, applied for and passed. And then, around about mid-1996, shortly after, is when the actual spray began. So, okay, let's say, oh, well, well, what, it's not affecting me, it's not going to affect my family, and maybe have a very, very good reason for doing it. Well, we've been uh, exposed to this, I suppose, really, is the best word, to the chemtrails for such a long time, almost 20 years now. And the results medically have been quite frightening in some places where if you've noticed in the population of this country, Great Britain, and across the world indeed where this spraying has been happening, there's been a sharp rise in Alzheimer's disease. Now Alzheimer's can be caused by exposure to aluminium. Uh, as many people know. And aluminium nanoparticulates is, happens to be one of the things that can be sprayed. Uh, amongst them are barium, strontium, arsenic, and uh, we believe like microfibers as well. Links to Morgellons disease, no less. So, you have these aluminium particles flying through the air, giving people Alzheimer's, and we said, well, where's the proof? There is a neurosurgeon who lives in New Zealand, and last, I believe it was only last year, he came out with a statement about Alzheimer's and chemtrails. Now, this guy is obviously a very intelligent person, who, who has to be to be a neurosurgeon. And he actually specializes in Alzheimer's. So, his words were pretty much that Alzheimer's can be caused by aluminium. So when I do an autopsy on a person who died of Alzheimer's, and I check out the part of the brain that actually causes Alzheimer's, he has found evidence, uh, I'm not sure if it's every time, but can't quote me there, but I would guess to come out with a statement like he has on Misty's career, I would say every time, is that the only particulates of aluminium in that part of the brain, which means that people are actually being poisoned, killed off, uh, tortured even. You now, having to go through Alzheimer's, it must be horrendous losing your memory, losing your family, losing your faculties, and this is what they are actually doing to us, the government. They must be, because for such a large operation, there cannot be a official line somewhere. It's impossible. And I'm sure they are very, very, very aware of it. Now, you have this delivery system of chemtrails that I've explained to you. Um, and the crisscrossing of the sky. Sometimes it's the actual geoengineering where the weather does change and you find that you know, after a certain amount of time 